Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Get my bottle of water here. Gotta stay hydrated. So in today's episode, we're gonna get this rack squared up. We're gonna get our front end squared up. Hopefully we can get this front end uh, dialed in 100% today. That's the, that's the main goal. So uh, let me just show you something real quick. These are the original inner tie rods that were in my steering rack. You can see they're all bent up. That's no good. That's no, no good at all. That one's bent. This one's bent. Uh, I didn't do it. I don't know who did it. I don't know how it happened, but it's all good. Got them replaced. $20 each at O'Reilly's. And then, uh, cause these I had modified the outer tie rods. Um, these were 40 bucks. So this here is my rack. I, uh, got my ends replaced. Um, these are standard right-hand threads, so, uh, yeah, just lock it up, screw, unscrew them, nothing fancy about that. All right, so now, everything is basically at zero, or dang, dang near close to zero. Um, my lower control arms, which I'm going to show you, are set to zero. The front of the suspension is level. It's basically set to zero, it's dang near close to it. Our control arm is basically set to zero. Half a degree, I'm not worried about, you ain't gonna see it. If you're more than that, you might have some issues because uh, basically we're leveling it out. This is set to zero. We want everything set to zero or dang near close to zero, okay? So your, your lower control arms need to be on the same plane with your tie rods and your steering rack, along with your up control arms, okay? Um, we went over in a couple couple videos before, your mounting positions for your upper and your lower control arms, your tie rod, your swivel, your pivot has to be in line with that. If it's too far one way or the other way, you're gonna end up with bump steer. Um, I'm gonna do everything that I can to avoid bump steer. This rack, is like a uh, universal style rack for the Mustang too, but um, I can't control everything 100%, but what we can do is, is get everything almost to 100%. Lower control arms, the mountings need to come down. We're gonna get that set too. And then hopefully by the end of this video, everything's gonna raise and lower like it's supposed to. So let's get started, shall we? All right, well, I got my rack set in here now. And you can tell by looking at the left mount, how off it was, and also the right mount. So now when you take a uh, digital level, like so, we got zero, or dang, dang near close to zero. So uh, same on the threads. Pretty dang close, half a degree. And zero. So, all right, here goes nothing. There it is. That's money. Unbelievable. Hell yeah. All right, that's good stuff, man, good stuff. You can see our tie rod is parallel to the control arm. Um, show you on this side, same thing, tie rods parallel. The only thing I've got to tweak on, I believe is the upper control arms, but I think we're okay for right now. I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm, I'm gonna, go out on a whim and say that, um, you know, the, the original builder of this car had, uh, had welded those steering, you know, the steering rack on because if, I mean, if the factory, whoever made this, whoever made this kit for this car, if they did it, 
shame on them. You know, because they're not. At first, I thought maybe, because we got this six love conversion here, I thought maybe um, they got some funky spindles on here, you know, to adapt that, that type of um, wheel pattern. But I've got a, a half a dozen of Mustang two spindles up, you know, up there and they're all, they all measure the same. So it's not that this, you know, the, the tie rod location on the spindle was different. So, you know, they just, you know, the rack was welded on wrong. So, um, I mean, I guess shit, shit happens. So it's not the end of the world. I got it taken care of. The steering is, is, you know, is good now. Uh, the, uh, the suspension is good. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. But in any event, um, I feel better now. Tomorrow we're going on a cruise. And uh, I, I'll have a clear clear head. Um, because if I didn't get this taken care of today, I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night. And I'm being serious. Because shit like this is what bothers me. You know, if you don't have the time to, to get something tweaked. But um, fortunately, I do. So um, good, good stuff, good stuff. Let's get this body on here now. I'm going to finish rolling up these uh, pinch moldings, get the body back on, and we should be good. That's it. That'll be it for, uh, you know, for this until, um, until I come back. We'll get the body back off and reinforce the uh, inside of the chassis. So, man, oh, man, look at that. Kind of hard walking like this. Man, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Life is good. Sir. 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 That's going to do it for today's video. If you're enjoying my content that I'm throwing at you, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor, consider subscribing. We're almost at a thousand subs. I can't believe it. It means a lot to me that you guys are showing the love. Till next time, remember, without you, these videos are not possible. That is true and accurate information. I'm gonna pull the ripcord. I'm gonna sail off to Bahamas, manana. Have a great day, we'll see you on the next one. Remember, be kind to one another. Take care, guys.